one layer thick is equals to one adult layer bud which is equals to about 300 eggs per year similarly one broiler chick is equals to one adult full-grown broiler bud this means that you cannot afford to lose a chick rest you lose all these profits that is why in today's video we are going to discuss on how to boost the immune system of the chicks naturally uh, through RE nutrition RE nutrition involves introducing chicks to good nutritional feeds as soon as possible after hatching this has numerous benefits with the major one being helping in the development of the immune system against diseases therefore i urge you that you watch the full video so that you can be able to get the full information of how this early nutrition is done and how it helps our chicks to make sure that early mortalities are eliminated in our flocks before we get into our topic today if you haven't subscribed to our channel please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video also make sure that you hit that like button because youtube youtube likes it when you hit the like button i also feel very privileged when you hit that like button chicks are very capable of developing their immune system so as to fight off infection which cause early mortalities however lack of proper feeding of feeds with the required nutrients and most importantly at the required time after hatching can cause poor immune development the issue that we are discussing here is the period from hatching to the point at which you feed uh, the chick its first feed and this is very this period is so crucial because this is where we see the bird become susceptible and they can contract infections so here is how early feeding or early nutrition will have an impact on your chicks the first question to ask our, uh, ourselves is what delays access to feeds in newly hatched chicks and how does this affect their immunity you will find that in commercial poultry operations hatch is delayed over even two days to allow most of the chicks to hatch another factor that causes delayed access to feeds is the practices in the hatchery like vaccination sexing packaging and transportation due to these procedures chicks may go even for 36 to 48 hours without any access Access to feeds and this causes retarded or poor growth and poor development of the immune system now the second question is what do you need to know about the absorption of the egg yolk we all are familiar with the knowledge that in the first three days of a chick's life the chick can go with no feed because it absorbs nutrients from the yolk sac however what we have not been told is that fasting chicks for longer periods after hunting causes devastating effects a certain research study showed that chicks introduced to feeds as soon as they hatched were able to absorb and utilize the yolk much faster compared to chicks that were fasted for 48 hours and beyond this is because the movement and absorption of the yolk to the duodenum is usually stimulated by the presence of feed in the gut this early utilization of the yolk helps in in early beginning of the immune system development hence helping the chicks to fight infection at uh, from an early stage now that we have known the importance of early feeding or the early nutrition in birds and we have seen how this delayed feeding and fasting of chicks can cause devastating effects what are the benefits of early nutrition towards boosting the chicks immune system you will find that due to lack of early nutrition or feeding two to five percent of the hatchlings these are newly hatched chicks uh, usually die and those that survive have stunted growth inefficient feed utilization reduced disease resistance and poor meat yield now here are the benefits of early nutrition to the chicks associated with the development of the natural immunity in the chicks number one is that 
early nutrition accelerates the yolk absorption and utilization. You have seen that chicks that are able to absorb the yolk uh, at an early stage are able to utilize it and break it, break it down into absorbable nutrients that are utilized in the, uh, in the beginning of the immune system uh, development. And the second benefit is that uh, early nutrition enhances the gastrointestinal tract or the GIT development and induces the secretion of the pancreatic enzymes. These factors boost the nutrient utilization which leads to improved growth and performance. This means your cheeks grow healthy to become stronger, high and high yield buds. This of course will boost the profits especially in the broiler layer and also the indigenous poultry farming. The third benefit of early nutrition is that it helps in the development of the mucosal immune system. The mucosal immune system is basically the development of the gut microflora on the lining on the walls of the GAT that is the digestive system of the cheeks which helps to fight off infections. Uh, for example, there are very harmful bacteria that can, that can affect cheeks at the early stage due to environmental uh, unhygiene and this early development of the gut microflora will make sure that these harmful bacteria, when they get into the uh, digestive system of the chicks as, they, as the chicks feed, they will be killed and they will be unable to cause diseases. For example, these uh, they can be the E. coli. E. coli can be very fatal to chicks, but if the gut microflora is well developed, it will be able to kill the harmful bacteria and other pathogens that can cause diseases. The other important benefit of early nutrition in chicks is that it helps in the development of the secondary immune system of the chicks. The secondary immune system is basically a part of the chicks immune system that deals with more severe infections. A research study that was done on chicks showed that chicks introduced to feed early enough after hatching had a well-developed and bigger basa of fabricas and the thymus. The basa of fabricas and thymus are the key immune organs in the bud that are associated with the production of the immune cells. And if they are bigger and more healthier, this means that the immune cells that they are going to produce will be of great importance towards fighting diseases in the early stages of the cheek growth. And the other important thing that you should know is that fasting cheeks 24 hours and more causes secretion of corticosteroids. Corticosteroids are hormones released during stress. These hormones cause slow development of the immunity required to resist diseases and, and response uh, to vaccine in chicks. So these corticosteroids will be produced uh, when the chick is fasted because lack of feed in the chicks it will be termed by the body as stress and due to these corticosteroids are produced they will suppress the immune development therefore when you feed early you prevent the secretion of these corticosteroids and this will create a chance for them boosting in the development of the immune system of the chicks the important thing to note is that although the yolk can provide nutrients for three to four days after hatch the yolk does not provide sufficient nutrients for optimum growth and development of the immune organs or for the optimum immunity. Therefore, appropriate nutrition and access to feed immediately after hatch accelerates the yolk utilization and stimulate the growth and development of the immune system. So why delay? Providing nutrients immediately post hatch contributes to poultry enterprise profitability. Make sure that you hit the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how the blackjack powder can be able to boost a production in your broiler farming.